What's up, people? Perry here with a very special episode. In this episode, we'll be exploring all the new features that are going to be coming out in 1.9. The new snapshot was just released, a long overdue snapshot. It's been a while since there have been some updates to this game, so I'm really excited to get going and start looking at all the new features. We're going to concentrate mainly on the building aspects of it, some of the new blocks that we're going to be finding in the game. Um, but we want to go ahead and start finding those new blocks. And what I've done is that, well, most of this new, the new blocks that we're going to be doing is from the end. So I've gone ahead and defeated the Ender Dragon. There's been some changes to how you fight the Ender Dragon. And uh, it's actually a little bit tougher to fight the Ender Dragon because of you have to take out some of the beacons and they're, you gotta kind of pillar up to take out some of the iron bars and all that stuff. But uh, you, you can find that out on another channel or another video uh, as to all those different updates. We want to get to some of the designing of the blocks here. So uh, once you defeat the Ender Dragon, of course, it spawns a portal that takes you back to the regular world, whatever you call it, overworld, sure. But you can see off in the distance, it makes another little portal. Now I'm not too sure if this is gonna be the final product. It was kind of surrounded by bedrock, so it kind of made it difficult for you to get in, but because we were in creative, I can take away those uh, the bedrock. And there's a little portal right here, and if we go through it, we get to see the end cities now I think it's called the end cities I'm not too sure what it's called but um this is where we're going to be getting our new blocks so there are a couple of things well, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and pick out these new blocks so we can take it back to the overworld and then we can start building from there so right off the bat we're looking at this right here the chorus plant and there's this stuff up here too which is the coarse flower. Interesting. The end stone we, we've already had before. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off into the world, explore it a little bit, and we'll take a look at some of the other blocks that we can get in this world. All right. And there you see in the distance there, it is what it's called the End City Dungeon. And I looked it up. That's what it's called. So lots of new blocks that we're going to be taking a look at. And the first thing that I notice is the fact that it's an upside down, it's got an upside down feel to it, that the, the bottom is smaller than the top. It's a pretty cool design. And there's actually some pretty cool things inside it. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. But I want to grab some of these blocks right here. This is the purr purr block. <laughs> oh my god, it's purr purr. <laughs> Um, it's one of the 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 Mojangs does one of them tweeted out a picture with the oh my god is purper <laughs> uh, I don't know cracked me up but uh, we have the purper block and then we have the purper pillar then there's also the end stone bricks and of course the purper block comes with its own stair and slab combination I did hear about possibly the endstone coming up with their own slab and stair combination but uh, it's not in this snapshot there's also the shulkers which are pretty cool in their own right that'd be interesting possibly for a creative build i don't think you want to build them in survival they probably give you a little bit of a problem but uh, there's also i think that's the slabs right there yeah that's the purple slabs and the dungeon itself is actually pretty cool the the way that the stairs kind of migrate up this way and then there is this right here which is the uh, ladder that leads to sort of like a parkour type event to get up here i won't bore you with my parkouring skills instead i'll bore you with my flying skills okay <laughs> um but there's also a little uh, another little parkour event trying to get up trying to get up you get the picture but uh yeah it looks pretty cool the way that they have arranged this thing and when you get to the top there's some loot that you can get it's actually pretty decent loot oops there this pick i would take that pick uh it's 
it seems pretty decent for for what you're getting here um but the other block that we need to get is this one right here and it's not a block it's a rod end rod which is actually a lighting element and that's going to be really cool to start using that in some lighting areas i'm thinking about maybe chandeliers or things like that so i think that we have most of the blocks that we need and so what i'm going to do now is we're going to go back to the overworld and from there we can explore designing with the new blocks all right so we're back in the overworld now so let's take a look a closer look at the blocks the new blocks that are in 1.9 the first ones are the the, the purper block and of course the slab and stair combination now that's going to be real awesome for detail elements usually i like to think of these blocks as sort of like a foundation type block so it would be a block that you would use throughout an entire build mainly because of the fact that you have the option of using a slab and a stair there's also the purple pillar which i think you can place differently yes yes you can you can place them on an angle and they change their directions which is real handy especially if you want things to go vertically and on. we'll 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 dabble with the design aspect of it in just a little bit but it's a pretty cool block and it has a, sort of like a a, a a unique pattern in that it, it can go in a certain direction and that would help kind of guide the eye in whatever pattern you need it to go into when uh, you're designing something and of course we have the end stone brick much like the the stone brick itself it's just got a white texture on it so it might be a really good option to mix it up with the stone brick itself that's an idea i'm thinking that uh, with more builds that you would want to make sort of uh have a little bit more of a warmer feel maybe something of a lighter texture instead of the stone brick you could go with these uh end bricks right here it's too bad they don't have the the, the stair and the slab combination just yet but uh, i'm hoping i'm really hoping that they do of course we have the end rod and from what i have gathered you can place them on top of each other like so and I don't think you can extend it up more than that. That's about it. And it kind of just does what it does there. But you can connect them top to bottom like so. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have our chorus plant and the chorus flower. Now, when you plant the chorus flower, you actually, it, it starts to grow on its own. And I think I can show you that. But what you do need is an end stone and you can only place them on that you can't you can't place it on the grass or i don't think any other types of block you can only place it on the end stone so that's something that you're gonna have to kind of get used to if you're trying to use this in your build maybe hide that somewhere kind of like that i mean it's not too bad the way it's shaped but this thing will start to grow it'll start to shoot up so that's something that maybe you can take into consideration when you start uh playing with your builds and then of course we have the chorus plant itself and these ones when you just place them that's it you just place it and it's done it doesn't grow like the chorus flower is and i'm hoping that it grows right now just to prove to you that it does grow there it is there it goes and it starts to go off in different directions actually and they start to multiply the the chorus flower does so with this the the chorus plant itself um, you can connect them going upwards and sideways you can't go any further than one block off of the the center point so you can you can do stuff like this uh, however if you start connecting them together they kind of break apart like so and then they give you these little these little nuggets where they called chorus fruit yeah so that's going to be another little survival element that will go into it so you just be mindful when you're building with this block i'm not too sure what we can do with it just yet i mean there's some ideas for some interesting designs but unfortunately it is kind of limited in the path and the direction that you can go i mean you can't go across any more than this yeah it's unfortunate because I, I really would like to play with a block like this and, and try to uh, 
determine some different patterns that can go along with it because I do like the uniqueness and the kind of textured feel to it. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start building a little house, a little home that we can call our own. And from there, we can start exploring some of the 1.9 features, at least maybe in another episode. But uh, right now, I want to just get a house going. And in uh, no small time at all, we come up with something like this. This didn't take too long, maybe about 20 minutes to build and conceptualize. You can see that the uh, the pillar block acts very much like the quartz pillar block, uh, but of course it's a different color and a different texture, which I quite like. And the, the, the fact that it kind of, you can have a bookend type block like so, so that uh, when you have these blocks that go across and then up and down like so, it's nice to have a block that can kind of, uh, uh, you can place in the middle of them so you're not choosing whether or not this block would be going horizontally or vertically. And so just to break up the little bits of purple that are everywhere in this build, uh, I went ahead and put in some end stone in the middle. And like I said, just to kind of break up the monotony of the purpleness of it. And as we go inside, oh, and I did use some of the... Um, uh, the stairs and oops that should dump me that way I've been messing around in MC edit MC edit hasn't really caught up with the uh, <laughs> snapshots yet of course but um, with the stairs and the slabs kind of put them on the feet of the pillars here kind of make them anchor into the floor a little bit better and this flooring pattern with the pillar blocks looks pretty cool I like the 3d effect of it and as we go into this little hollow space here, I figured that this would be a good place for us to kind of explore some of the newer blocks that are going to be coming out in later snapshots because I do believe that they are coming out with more blocks and more things for us to tinker around with. I did go around this entire area and place these end rods. And I think... oh. We just have to update the lighting. I don't think the lighting is fixed yet, but that may be an issue with MC Edit and not with Minecraft. So up top here, I tried my hand at a quick chandelier. It's a work in progress. Perhaps these blocks right here, the, the, the bricks themselves, are kind of taking up too much of the sight lines, too much of the view. So I might think about shaving it away, possibly use another type of block. We don't necessarily have to stick with all the 1.9 blocks. We'll try to expand ourselves. Maybe I'll expand on the design a little bit more. Maybe add in some of the blocks that we already have in Minecraft right now into the build. But I'm not too sure just what will go with which block. That will, of course, take a little bit of time. But that's going to be do it for this episode, this first episode episode of the snapshot of 1.9 i'm really excited to see what's going to be coming up in these updates and hopefully i'll be able to share them with you in this world all the different blocks and all the different things that we'll be taking a look at of course so if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button really do appreciate it if you have any comments uh, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Maybe you have some ideas of what you would like to see built in uh, 1.9 and uh, hopefully I can try and do some of that for you. So leave a comment down below. And you know what? If you have ideas, if you're playing around with the snapshot right now, be sure to tweet me out a picture of something that you've created with the 1.9 blocks at ProPerryLP. And, of course, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Keeps you up to date on all the things that are going on in it, like this video right here. So, that's it for me. Always remember, keep your head up, and I will see you in the next one.